Hello, uh, this is Fast Moving Targets, live from uh, Eurosonic Norderslag, two days of Buma music meets uh, a tech. Another guest, hi, uh, who are you and what do you do? Hi, thanks for uh, inviting me. Uh, my name is Ben Spanjaard and I'm the uh, yeah, managing director of uh, Fanalists. And what do you do? Uh, Fanalist is a, is a young company and we uh, uh, bring uh, uh, free disciplines uh, to the public, uh, data management, data visualization, and the insights coming out of the data, we implement it into digital strategies, and from there we're going to accelerate the business of our clients. So, and um, fanalists, so that in a word, say we analyze uh, fans. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, uh, and how do you do that, for example, in the world of music? In the world of music, we've got uh, clients who are um, uh, belonging to uh, the biggest uh, DJs in the world. We've got record labels uh, as a client. And how do we do it? We um, uh, as do, do a digital assessment on which channels they are active on and on which channels they have an interaction and engagement with their fans. And we extract the data from out of their systems to uh, blend the data and give actionable insights out of it. Yeah, so make it uh, practical for me. Uh, uh, yeah, how does that go and what, what, what does exactly happen? Yeah, what exactly happens? Uh, for instance, takes, uh, take a client of us, uh, Able Music, we um, uh, uh, manage the data they get from their artists. We uh, blend uh, Facebook data, Twitter data, uh, Instagram data, so social data. And we blend it with other data sources, for instance, like ticket sales, for instance, like web usage. And we get insights about the con content consumption of their fans and the connection between, for instance, uh, uh, Eva Simons and their public. Yeah. And there we, we, um, uh, we feed that data into the communication processes so they know which content to make. Yeah. Okay, so how do they know which uh, uh, content to make then? Um, because sort of, and, and how do they change? So it, does, it make, does it mean longer or shorter uh, tracks or videos? Or uh, how does content change by knowing more about your fans? Uh, it means longer or shorter content because we uh, analyze the, the channel you use. So every channel needs its own uh, distribution of content and its own uh, uh, capabilities of content. So short or long is Instagram yeah. short and Twitter also short and some uh, long. But um, we're analyzing the interest of the fans, for instance, of Eva Simon. So if they know that they're going to be crazy about Bloodfire, we know we have to mention Bloodfire more in our hashtags, or we uh, have to mention ad mentions of Eva in hashtags. Or it's difficult to give a, a simple example, but it's about knowing what they consume and acting on that. Yeah. Hey, and um, um, so data in, in, in the whole world is a, is a big issue, of course, yep. uh, and, and the value of data and what can, can you do with it. Is the music industry uh, in that field a front runner or uh, uh, um, are they followers? It depends on which, which music segment you're talking about. Um, the, the, the EDM world yeah, is a bit of a front runner yeah. within the music industry. And I think the bigger festivals are also front runner, but um, uh, my um, uh, 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 how do you say it? colleague uh, Dennis is going to show more about the state of digital uh, in the music industry. But um, I think the live music scene can make a move. Yeah, hey, and are you uh, uh, going to be a tool that is interest uh, is in uh, interesting for? Every artist or label, etc., or are you the, are you a tool that is specific for people that have their own data analysts? Uh, no, no, because well. I'm not a data analyst on my own. Uh, I'm just curious and I ask questions and I want to declare uh, uh, behavior, and uh, that's the main focus you have to have as an artist. And it's it's uh, available for everyone because the pricing is about the me how many um, uh, engagement or. Uh, number of fans you have, and if you have less fans, then it's less expensive. Yeah, yeah. So, so everyone can go now to fanalists.com uh, yeah. fan yeah. and start their own account. Uh, it, it isn't about starting your own account, uh, because it isn't that platform as a service, but it is about uh, uh, getting in contact with us and we're going to create an account for you. Yeah, because you can't, I assume you you can't automate everything yet because not all the platforms are or the, or the way people uh, organize their stuff are, yeah. are, are ready for that yeah we can automate a lot but everything is around the questions you want to uh, answer 
and that's where the customization starts. Yeah. And what what was what what is the the, the most important question an, an artist uh, uh, should want an answer to? Uh, who his fans are, with name and all information, and where they're from. Because, for instance, if you want to make a tour program, and you want to make a tour throughout of Holland, and you don't have fans in, for instance, Limburg, then I don't think you have to uh, schedule uh, 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 a night in Limburg for yourself. Yeah. For and, 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 and in what way does your information uh, uh, add to all the information they could get from Facebook only? Um, it adds because it's, it connects and blends a lot of databases, so you get insights from out one tool, which you can uh, dive into and, and slide through it easily and in a dynamic way. In seconds you funnel your information, and if you have to uh, connect to first Facebook analytics, then YouTube analytics, then Google analytics, then your ticket sales, then your and if you have 40 databases, then you go totally crazy. Yeah. Hey, and um, very often, to be honest, when I um, uh, see uh, uh, data from different parties, very often I think there was no um, uh, research necessary. This is uh, Buddha Weisheit. Uh, logical. Yeah, logical, farmer wisdom, <laughs> yeah. whatever it is. Um, is that because we're not far enough uh, with, with, with the technology, or is it valuable enough to have proof of what you uh, thought anyway as well? It's about proving that something is, is, is like it is, uh, and not making a decision built on belly feeling, or I don't know how you say it in, in, in English, <laughs> but I look like Louis Verhaal now. Um, but isn't it so that the most difficult decisions are the most logical ones? Only you want to confirm that to yourself. Yeah. And um, our system can give new insights because every customer we have are about, wow, do you know that from me? And then we say, yes, it's your own data, so you should know it from yourself, yeah. but uh, they don't know it. Yeah. So it gives new insights, but the best decisions uh, uh, can be made out of logic. Hey, what are the things you can't do at the moment you want to be able to do for your clients in, uh, in the near future? Ooh, that's... Uh, that's all about um, uh, the level of depth in data. For instance, we also, on, on another se segment, uh, the sports segment, we want to um, uh, serve uh, a football club with a connected stadium, and we want to extract all data from out of that connected stadium. That's a wish for us, but the club isn't ready for it already. So, um, yeah, it's about uh, speeding up the process at client side, hopefully. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, thanks a lot from uh, uh, from my side. Uh, uh, over there is, uh, is Sarah uh, 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 sitting um, uh, with a, a couple of others. They are walking around here, doing their own media stuff, asking their own questions, etc. So that's yeah. what she will be, be doing. I already uh, met Sarah be because uh, she asked a few questions. Uh, okay, so let, let's see if it, if it will be the same questions or uh, other questions. Yeah. Sarah, what 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 uh, do you want to know? Um, as f first, I have the question. Um, you told about the value of the artist. Uh, what is the value of the car? I don't. But what we do is no, this is the, no, that's the, the, you, you're doing no, you're oh, doing right. Okay. You're doing right. But because oh. the, the the whole field here, it's a bit you're too far away. Um, Peter, what we're doing is we're schuiven nu even bij. Ja, en dan kan jij. So we do, we do. It's it's a, it's a live program, so there's no problem with it. Uh, come sit, come and sit here. Okay, make, it, make it a little yeah, bit closer. Want dan kan je misschien verdragen waarschijnlijk. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. yeah, just just uh, so, so 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 welcome. We make the. Uh, 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 a group interview uh, from yeah. uh, from now on. Yeah, so ask right. your questions. Yeah, okay, um, we talked a little bit about it already uh, in the panel, but yeah. uh, maybe for the uh, people who were the viewers, not there, yeah. um, what you thought about the value of the artist? But is there also a value of the co consumer of the or the fans uh, in your system, your data system? What the value for the consumer is yeah. of our system. It's a typical system that helps organizations or musicians to uh, get to know their audience and mm -hmm. to get to know about the engagement level with their audience. Uh, the value for the customer is that uh, the organizations reach out on a more personalized, relevant way to their customers so they don't get annoyed by, hopefully they don't get annoyed, by um, messages they don't want to receive. That's what we bring at the end. Okay. But that's when we're finished with the total process. 
And you also told uh, yet that um, as artists you can look uh, where your fans are coming from and then yeah. plan your um, tours on that. Is it then also possible for, for the fan or consumer if um, you want an artist to come to them that you collect a lot of fans in that area and do it the other way around? Then you're saying that your fans are going to uh, act as promoters for you as an yes. artist. And I think that's the ideal situation for an artist uh, that can happen. Okay. Because then uh, the fan base creates itself and it creates its own value. And uh, I think he's uh, really willing to come to that place then. Okay. Because they, so those are super fans. So you, the ideal situation is that there is a, a cooperation between the fans and the artist. That's exactly where it's all about. Because it's about uh, an artist want, wants to make a connection with their fans. and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, interact uh, on a on a high intensity with them, just to get engaged with them and get to know about what they want. And uh, when you um, uh, reach that uh, situation, you're doing perfectly. Okay, but is it not uh, strange that if you want to reach that as artist, that uh, the fans don't know which data uh, there are used from them? Um, is it then right? Yeah, I, I understand your question. <laughs> I, isn't it strange that an artist knows which data he uses, but a fan don't know how he gets to that data? Yeah, or what? <coughs> what they? If I told something, what is used? What will you use from it, or what will an artist use from it? It depends on the process you want to um, uh, 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 ingest it into, because for communication purposes, you can use other data than for sales purposes or for content marketing purposes, but um, isn't it uh, strange that a consumer doesn't know which data he uses for what? Again, I don't think so, because it's all about relevancy, okay. in my opinion. But it is also possible for, for a fan to uh, see that data? Or uh, no, because it's a B2B system, but um, if it has to be transparent and an artist wants to be transparent he can enclose it because uh, there are no uh, secrets within it okay so um, it's all about the transparency on the side of the artist record the artist. label or what else okay so the artist is in charge right yeah. there yeah at the end he is but i think this is a, a kind of hypothetically uh, situation because i don't think it's going to happen but if the fans want to and uh, he has to because otherwise there's going to be a movement against the artist mm -hmm. i think he will Okay, and then a question I think you hear a lot, but privacy, um, how is the privacy um, arranged in your company for the um, people you use data from? Or Yeah, that's a good question. The privacy statements are on the side of our clients. So a fan uh, who extracts information from out of systems is the fans of the, the uh, organization who extracts the data. That's also the responsibility of the organization because we are, um, um, how do you say, a bewerker in Engels? We, we are a user of their data and it's, it, it is, at the end, it is their data and we only use it to make it, to, to get the insights out of it. So it's the responsibility of the client and we advise the client, but everything we'll do is within uh, uh, privacy regulations. And uh, yeah, you can um, uh, uh, regulate it within opt-in um, uh, rules or some kind of rules, but we uh, totally um, um, uh, operate within the privacy statements. Okay. And my last question. Um, do you think that um, if the uh, consumer knows which data you use from that, that they um, are agreeing with that? They already agreed, but I don't think a lot of consumers know that they are agreed. Mm -hmm. But um, at the end, it's in the uh, it's in the interest of the consumer that they get to know which data will be used. And I think there are some movements already who are um, uh, telling people that you have to pay consumers to get their data. But if it makes it more relevant, then it's also uh, valuable and it's also worth it. So uh, our total um, uh, game is about relevancy and personalization of content and uh, just not to annoy consumers. So if that's going to be happen, we are only happy with that because it says that we can uh, reach to relevant, with relevant uh, content to the people.
So you're a kind of silent voice. Only use the things that is relevant for the consumer and the other things you don't use. Yeah, it's, it's only about relevancy because if we want to feed into uh, a sales process, it's all about relevancy and I don't go to sell you something if you're totally not interested in it because then you say, no, I don't want it. And I get annoyed by your message, so go away. Mm. So I think it's all, in life, it's all about relevancy. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Thank Sarah. Thank you. And uh, it's clear privacy is an important, uh, important subject uh, to her as well. I would, uh, would yeah, like to say, absolutely. important subject for you as well. Hey, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, Thank, you, Thank you for watching um, uh, right now. And uh, we'll be uh, here for two days doing live interviews, and you will be uh, able to uh, look at them, watch them on demand uh, via fastmovingtargets.nl or our YouTube channel. See you later.